Hey, what's up guys? I'm sorry for the recent absence. I've not been really posting videos because and tutorials because um, uh, finals are coming up and uh, I have been preoccupied with them. But today I'm going to show you something that can be pretty useful in your game to be honest. So it's the ability to switch um weapons so if you're it doesn't have to be weapons it's it's basically a game object that you hold that's a like a child object of the player controller you're using and you're gonna switch between those um game objects when you click for example one two and you're gonna switch to your hands when you click r so that if if i if you have like a third person controller like this let me just show you when i play the game if you have like hands like these, then when you click R, nothing is going to show. But if you have a prefab, if you have, if you're using a first-person controller and you really have like hands, you have a hand model that you need to import. You can also use it as another object. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it. So I made this little script. Let me just find it. So it's show weapon. I call it like that. Um, I'm going to show you basically what it does and how you use it. So as you can see here it says item 1 and 2 and those are the items we can show. You can add more. Um, I'll show you how to do that as well. So in the script we have a few game objects. We have the one item 1 and item 2. You can add more but you have to add more booleans that represent the uh, game object. So have item 1, you have the item 1 bool the same as the other one so on void start we don't want any of the objects to show you can also change this if you want the character to start off with one item or the other in update when so the show item one is false if it's false I want to the item dot set active is false if the item is true I want to set active is true so when the boolean is true I want the item to also be set active or to be enabled in the inspector in the game same goes for the item 2 and if input at get key down so if I click alpha 1 is the key code for the number 1 that's um, uh, that's up that's uh, one key from Q and W so it's not the ones on the right of your keyboard it's ones on the uh, below F1 F2 etc you can change this as well if you want. I just like to keep it to 1 and 2. So when you click a 1 and show item is false. So if the item 1 is false and I click 1, show item is true and show item 2 is false. The reason why I said the show item is 2 is false and and I didn't um, say here that it has to be the true or false because I want if I don't if I don't have anything or if the other if the item 2 is being shown I want to n not mind the circumstances and just show the weapon but if it's not if the weapon is already being shown I don't want it to show again because I don't that that's going to cause issues the same thing over here if input on get key down alpha 2 item 2 is false I want to show the item 2 and hide the item 1 now if you click R none of them are going to be shown and you're just going to see the hands that I have on my model but if you're using for example a first person controller which doesn't have hands you can um, do the same thing but have another um, show item have another item which represents your hands you're just going to add another item and another bool and you're just going to make it uh, the, that item over here to be false and here false but here true how we set this up is Let's find two items. So I'm gonna get a sword. I'm gonna drag it to the third person controller. I'm gonna go to the model, the meta rig, the hips, the, sp the spine, chest. Can you open up please? All right, shoulder right, upper arm, forearm, hand. And I'm gonna put it as a, as a child object to this. I'm gonna set the position to zero and the sword is kind of big so we're going to want to scale it all the way down so here's the sword you can just modify it the way you want I'm gonna keep it like this alright 
you can fine tune it if you don't like it. I'm just doing this for a tutorial, so it doesn't matter. Uh, now you can uh, so the other item. Uh, let's see what which items I have that I can use. I have an axe. Now I think the axe is kind of big, so I'm not gonna use it. Instead, I think I have a hatchet. Yeah, but it's not a. I'm gonna use the axe. Doesn't matter really. I'm gonna put the axe as a game object of the hand as well, and I'm just gonna copy this, copy the rotation, copy the component, totally, and paste component values. So here it is. I'm gonna rot. I'm gonna rotate it, and there we go. So both of these items are like this. So let me just show you when. I go into my um, third person controller, add the script that we made, show weapon, and drag the axe, and drag the sword. So you can, uh, if we don't, if we want some of the items to be shown at the start, you can take it over here, but we don't want them, so when we play the game, we don't see anything. When we click 1, as you can see, the item 1 or the sword appears, it follows me because I made the the child of the hand. When I click 2, the X gets shown, as you can see. And when I click 2 again, nothing happens, but when I click 1, it appears. And when I click R, they disappear. And if I click R again, nothing. So that's a simple way that you can make add weapons in your game. And if you're using a combat system like um, with your weapons, if they have triggers on them that are um, that detect when you're getting hit, when you're not getting hit, you can. This also works for that because it you you won't be able to hit the opponent when you only have hands, but when you have a weapon, you can hit them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If it helped you, leave a like. If you have any suggestions, feel free to tell me. And yep, I'll see you later. Have a nice day.